In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add textures or even animated textures to 3D objects in After Effects. Sadly, in native After Effects, you cannot actually add textures or even a gradient to 3D text, so here's a trick I like to use for other things, which works here as well. So I've got this basic text animation prepared, and let's go ahead and add some textures to it. So I'm gonna make this layer 3D, and I wanna make sure I'm set to Advanced 3D over here, and if you don't see it here for some reason, right click your chrome position, comp settings, and over here, make sure it's set to advanced 3D. All right, let's go down here and under geometry options, we're gonna set some extrusion. So we have some depth. So set this to 150 or something, and let's give it some bevel style. So I like to use convex and maybe four. Now, as I said, there's no way to add textures or even a gradient. So for example, if I right click my text layer and go to layer styles, set it to a gradient, we won't actually see anything because it's not supported yet in 3D. So what we can do here is create a new solid. Let's call this gradient and let's give it a gradient ramp effect or the full color gradient, whatever you want to. And I'll just give it two random colors here and maybe even some animation just so we can see it move. So just like this. And let's go ahead and pre-compose this layer and we'll move all attributes. Now we can hide this for now and let's go ahead and create a camera. And I'm just gonna give it a basic zooming out animation here. So just two keyframes on the Z position here, sort of just zooming out. Now what I wanna do here is copy this camera onto my pre-comp and I wanna make sure my gradient is also a 3D layer. And we can go ahead and scale this up just to fit the comp. Now, once we go back into our main composition, I'm gonna enable our gradient layer and I'll make it a track mat to the text layer. So now we can see the texture within inside our 3D text. And if we enable it and set this to a luma mat, we actually see the details from our 3D text and the animation stays on top of it. So this is because we have the same camera on both compositions animated in the same way. Now what we can do here is add some shadows. So let's create a new light. We'll make it an environment light and make sure cast shadow is set to on. Hit okay. And we even see some further more details within our 3D text. So this is the basic setup on how to add some textures. Now let's say I wanna make this text a bit more metallic. So what I can do here is go into my pre-comp and I'll drop a texture here. Let me line it up here. And we'll also wanna make sure it's 3D and we can scale this up. Let's get rid of the gradient. We don't need it anymore. And once I go back here, you can see that the texture actually stays on again, because we have the same exact camera with the same animation. So once I change something in the camera, I need to make sure I copy it into this pre-comp and let's disable the previous one. So now it basically stays on just like a texture. Now, obviously this doesn't look too appealing. So here are a few tricks that I found to make this look a bit more metallic. And what we're gonna do here is go into the text layer and we'll start playing with the material options. So I'll increase the speculars here to 100 on all of them and it's already starting to look better. Another thing we can do here is go into fill and maybe make it a bit of a darker text like so. Now, another useful thing here is we can have the texture with a transfer mode which is something that is not possible on a regular 3D layer. As you can see here on the text, it is blank because it's advanced 3D. But here we can actually set this to screen or something and it works. Now there are multiple ways you can use transfer mode onto 3D text. For example, the way I add some shiny glow to our edges here. And I do this by selecting my text layer, my camera and my light, control D to duplicate them and pre-compose them and move them to a new composition. I'll call this one glow. Now, once I go down here, I'm setting my light to something low like 10. And now I can only see some of the specular edges here. And I can also add an adjustment layer with the levels effect just to further push just the, so we just see some of the edges. And now once I go back into my main comp, I can add a glow to this layer and give it a screen transfer mode. So this is how I add this nice glowing edges on my 3D text. So this is a trick I found useful in 3D text without using any plugins. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.